So in 2006, I was feeling not very good about my health and the way I looked, so I took this photo of my body. Over the next six weeks, I worked out incredibly hard and I was very careful about what I ate. And at the end of three months, I had made this physical transformation. These before and after pictures have gone massively viral in the last couple of years, but wherever they go on the internet, they generate giant squids of anger of people being like, these photos are fake. So today I want to give you five reasons why these photos are 100% not fake, which is another way of saying they are real. Number one, distinctive scar. Some people have said that the after photo is my face pasted on someone else's body. Based on my extensive knowledge of forensic science, which I've acquired by watching police procedurals and hanging out with Polly Perrette, aka Abby from NCIS. Sir, I am declaring fandom of Josh Hunquist. I know that the criminal justice system often uses distinctive scars to positively identify a person because scars are difficult to fake or replicate. And it just so happens that I have a very distinctive scar right here. And I just ruined the color of this shirt. But I thought it would be less awkward to show it to you this way than by like flashing you, which would be kind of weird. Anyway, this scar is from when I had cancer and I had a port cath device inserted under my skin through which I received my chemotherapy for a year. And you can see this very distinctive scar both in the before photo and in my after photo. Number two, the way I balance. As Shakira Shakira would say, the hips don't lie. Let me tell you something about hips. When a two-legged person stands, their center of gravity, their center of balance, that is if you drew a line from their nose through their belly button and from there you dropped a plumb line or a weighted string, from that belly button you would find that it lands directly in between his feet because you balance on two legs by putting part of your weight on one foot and the other half on the other foot. But if you're an amputee, you must shift your center of gravity over so that if you drop a plumb line from my belly button straight down, you would find that it lands directly on my one foot. If we compare these two photos side by side, we can find that there is absolutely no way that this is a photo of a two-legged person who's had their leg photoshopped out because of the center of gravity. Number three, independent verification. I made these photos to compete in the Body for Life contest which I won and which paid for my graduate school. Awesome! But before awarding me the prize, the experts at Body for Life certified the photos as real by looking at the originals. Again, these are people whose job it is to look at before and after pictures and determine if they're real. Furthermore, a couple weeks ago, these photos were featured on CNN, and we all know that cable news does not lie. Okay, actually, that's probably like the least compelling evidence in this entire video. Number four, examine them for yourself. One reason I think that a lot of people have assumed the photos are fake is because the version that circulates on the internet is typically very low resolution and very grainy. But the originals are extremely high resolution. How high, you ask? Well, here's a close-up of the after photo, which you can see the hair follicles, which yes, I did shave for the after photo, at this extremely high resolution zoom in. In fact, if you want to examine these hair follicles for yourself, just click on the link in the underbar and you can download the original file. Warning, it is an extremely large file. Number five, back photos. On the exact same day and the exact same time as which I took my before and after photos, I also took photos of my back. And if you look at them, you can see a approximately similar results to my front. Now I know that there's some trolls and some amputee haters out there who are gonna believe these photos are fake no matter what evidence they are presented with. But I'm hoping that you, as a reasonable and rational human being, will now accept and believe that these photos are real. And I wanted to prove that to you today because next week I'm gonna be making a video about the mental strategy that I use to make this transformation. Please subscribe for a new video from me every Tuesday.